the fair winds blow Our home is where the waters flow We'll show you what we've come to know On board while sailing wisdom Oh my goodness yeah. What did you do? Well, I installed the solar panels I, uh, We needed to put them somewhere That wouldn't get shaded And to connect them all in series And I thought, this is good They're part way out of the boat part way over the deck so they're not too far off the boat. Huh. Yeah. Well, they're definitely something. Yeah, and they give us 400 watts of power, so... <laughs> I didn't have anywhere else to put them. Well, it's not <laughs> yeah. permanent. Yeah, so these, they're gonna go in the hard dodger when we build the hard dodger. We just haven't built it yet. I don't have time to build it right now. And we needed this power because when we calculated the range and everything, it was including these panels working. And they've been sitting in the quarter berth, not getting any sun or anything. So I'm like, all right, we gotta put them somewhere. And I was thinking of just putting them on the deck. And this is kind of like off the deck, a little. Yeah, at least sort. this isn't impeding our. Is it okay with the sail? The sail just cleared. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, I tried it. <laughs> it. It goes like whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> so the sail would shade it. But most of the time we're anchored and you know sun's on it and it's it's like flat so it's like yeah. sun straight on it. Well, so. it's not like we're going out into the ocean. Yeah, this is this is an ICW setup. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We're getting the anchor up. Yeah. We're, we're going go to go to a mooring ball over there because this is where we're going to keep the boat while we are away in August. Yep. And the panels are in the way of grabbing a mooring ball. So I'll do it from the dinghy. All right, Herbie's gone over in the dinghy so that he can pull the mooring. I'm gonna meet him in wisdom and we're gonna do this. day. <laughs> um, it's storming outside and I am very grateful that we are on a mooring ball. It's my birthday. We're gonna go to Horseshoe Crab Island and just hang out for the day because that's what I'd like to do on my birthday. A horseshoe crab on Horseshoe Crab ah. Island. So 
we've had some frustrating developments. We called about a month and a half ago uh, to see if we could reserve a time to haul out in this marina. And they said, oh, it's fine. Just call right before and we'll get you out. And uh, we did. We called a few days in advance and they said, oh, no, uh, we're full for the next month. So we can't haul out. And our bottom, there are barnacles on our barnacles. There are, we can't move. So Herbie is going to jump in and scrape the hall a little bit this morning so that we can try and just get north. To make it worse, there's gators in this water. Yeah, so I'm gonna stay out here on gator watch while Herbie scrapes the bottom and uh, that's our life right now. Procured. Thank you, Jerry. We have procured our water. We filled up our tanks and now we are ready to head north. Finally.
and we are just gonna enjoy the rest of our day inside I think because the, it's pretty windy. Now yesterday we got to experience something totally unique, something I have never seen before and it was a first for Herbie too. We got to see the launch of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and it was something absolutely mind-blowing to see. I mean, we saw, we had front row seats, basically, in our um, mooring field. So that was something I've always wanted to see and something Herbie has always wanted to see, and it was just really exciting to experience. Yeah, so growing up in Puerto Rico, I always wanted to see a rocket launch, and I knew they happened in Cape Canaveral, and when we sailed by Cape Canaveral years ago, I was like hoping that a rocket would happen to shoot off while we were sailing by and I'd get to see it but it didn't happen because that's not how rocket launches work but it was so cool because when we came back and like we saw the NASA building and like that big building the hangar thing that you see in all the movies was there and I'm like oh I hope a rocket goes off and then we're gonna be leaving and then people were like oh tomorrow there's a rocket launch I'm like well we leave the day after tomorrow then but I always pictured like in the movies they show the rocket goes up and it says the candle burning and just goes off into space done it was just beautiful in just ways that i never expected i thought just this light was going to happen and just go away and you know get so far away i can't see it anymore and go into space but oh wow it was just this light show that looked like the cosmos were giving birth in front of me the really cool thing about SpaceX is now they're starting to use reusable boosters and rockets. And the best part of the launch and the most beautiful part was this amazing ah. blooming of light that was caused the moment the booster separated from the rocket, there was a gas released and that gas froze and then refracted the light from the sun. And you just saw this incredible light show surround the rocket and it, it was unlike anything I have ever seen before or even expected to see from this launch. The cool thing is we could then see the booster continue to release gas as it came down and was eventually going to land on a platform floating in the water to be reused. So cool. Right now we're coming into the Ponce Inlet. I noticed that our bilge pump ran and then ran and then ran again, and it kept running like a lot. A lot of people have been asking us why we're doing the ICW all the way up to Maryland from Florida. Yeah, I just don't look, it's terrifying. I just, I look at the number, I see that it'll fit, and I just don't look up. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And, if you're interested in even more Ringing Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.